Highlander has been inculcated in my mind for some time because I'm a Hispanic Latino. And I want to mention to you, and I want you to think for a minute, I want to pose you a question. What is our most powerful force for the future, and how are we losing them? I want to focus today primarily on Hispanic Latinos because I'm a Hispanic male myself. The force that we're losing the most is not aircraft carriers, it's not Polaris submarines which carry nuclear warheads, it's not our military. The force that we're losing today is young Latino children dropping out of junior high school, dropping out of high school, teenage pregnancy, and drug addiction. Why is this happening so much? in the Hispanic community and not so much in the Anglo community. Well, I'll tell you for a second. I come from a dysfunctional home. And what that simply means is this. Mama has to go out and work and provide the food and provide all the nourishment that the children need, including rent, electric, and everything else, and that is nowhere to be found. This is something that's happening a lot in junior high school and high schools. Young girls get pregnant young, and what happens? They lose their future. If we take a moment to realize and analyze this situation, I, I, I wave my hand because there are not much differences between an anglo saxon young man and a Puerto Rican young man. One may be heavier, one may be more handsome, one may be prettier, one may be... Uh, have blue eyes, brown eyes, but the difference is the foundation that most Latinos do not have at home. And that's the Anglo-Saxon home, there are values taught. The values are very, very nurturing and very deep. When we build the skyscraper, we build the skyscraper from the bottom up with a deep foundation, you see? And Latinos don't have that. They don't know what homework is. They, I mean, my mother used to tell me, you do your homework, you do your chores, and when I come back, after dinner, you can go outside for one hour. And this was in the ghetto, when we moved to the nicer area of the Bronx. What stands out the most, again, I must say, is dysfunctional. Another factor is the non-support by fathers. Fathers? Latin fathers? African American fathers, young kids, 16, 15, 17, get the girl pregnant and they're nowhere to be found. They do not support the family. And now mama has to suffer and go through this. Another factor is young Anglo Saxon kids usually go to better elementary schools, private ones, that set the foundation with algebra, trigonometry, geometry, calculus, physics, chemistry, and different subject matters. In time, this will become very, very, very horrible to our nation. We, if we don't finish high school in one day, how do we finish high school? How did I finish high school? Well, I finished it one homework at a time, one assignment at a time, one class at a time, and then I went on to graduate. In college, it was the same way, one subject at a time. But, you have to break it down, one homework at a time, one class at a time, one paper at a time, and then we finish that class. The same goes for our schools, one homework at a time, one formula at a time, like I said, one paper at a time. Can we eat a T-bone steak all at one time? T-bone steaks are beautiful. I love them with the sauce, but try stuffing one down your throat. And what happens? You choke. We have to cut it one piece at a time and then eat it. That's the same way I did in high school. That's the same way I did in college. I myself experienced many, many, many challenges in my junior year. My mother was killed by two trucks. My father then died four months later. And I, st I went in the hospital. I put myself in the hospital for a week. I was diagnosed with obsessive compulsive disorder. I came out and I still managed to finish my junior year in the honor roll. And they put me on medication to help me calm this down and it has calmed it down 
but what mostly kept me going was my focus. I had complete focus. I did not use my peripheral vision. I had focus where I wanted to go. I wanted to graduate from the University of Texas in Arlington with honors. I wanted to be a speaker. It was very dark, metaphorically. There were no stars at night, and there was no sunlight for me during the day. It was very, very difficult. Very, very difficult. You too will make it through the sweat, blood, and tears. You too will make it through the rain, like the song says. But you got to remember one thing. Someone's going to help you. Someone help me. Divine intervention, whatever it must be, help me get through college. And I, my mission is to help all of you out there. I love you out there. I don't know you, but my heart goes out to you. And one day I'll be speaking in front of you, and you'll get to meet me, and I'll give you a great big hug or a great big handshake. God bless you. Have a wonderful day.